Hey guys, welcome back to the vlogs. I just got off work and heading to my parents' place to pick up my F-150. As per the title, this is Project F-150. I own a 2008 Ford F-150 Lariat. I, my plans for it right now is to actually make it into a off-road slash daily driving vehicle. Yeah, I wanna do some off-roading with it this summer and give it a lift kit maybe just four inches not too high new wheels new tires uh, off-road of course and yeah I'm getting actually getting some quotes right now from my buddies this is how the truck looks like I'm actually thinking of replacing the, the front bumper as well too to one of those uh, off-roading front bumpers uh, that might cost a little bit too much but hey I uh, might need it in the future. Might be adding a wench as well too. Uh, lot, as you saw in my last video, a few of us actually got stuck into uh, in the mud, so that would be a good idea. Here's the bad news. Unfortunately, my truck is currently broken. The problem with the truck is that the reverse gear doesn't work. It, it would actually get into the reverse gear but it doesn't actually let me reverse. I actually had a bit of a problem last night trying to get home after dropping off the 370Z at uh, my place. Uh, me and my dad are actually just heading to Ford. I'm just dropping it off there and probably gonna get it diagnosed. They won't be able to really look into the vehicle until uh, this weekend, which kind of sucks because I'd like to find out what it is so I can uh, maybe get it fixed for you guys. But yeah, my buddy's actually already kind of has an idea of what it could be. He said that the band might might have gotten stretched or worn out. It, it is a 12 year old truck, right? But I mean, the mileage is not too high. Uh, might need to be replaced. So um, I'll find out later on. Uh, yeah, hopefully it's not too much because it's going to be cutting into the funds of what I'm going to be doing to the truck. Anyways, guys, I just got to my parents' place. I'll see you guys in a little bit. Okay, I'm just going to show you guys what I mean, uh, what's happening right now, okay? Okay, so as you can see, I'm just gonna show it and I'll, uh, I'll put it in drive for now. See, it shifts, it's fine. Gets into gear, felt that. Moving forward, it's fine. Now watch, I'm gonna put it into reverse. It kicks, but, oh, it's reversing. That is weird. It actually worked, hmm, that's kinda weird. I don't know, we'll figure it out in a little bit. I'm sure there's still something wrong with it and I'd rather be sure than sorry. Maybe because uh, I am in an incline so it is rolling back a little bit, but in a complete flat surface, it doesn't allow me to go in reverse. So we'll figure out right now. I'm just waiting for my pops to come out and we're heading to Ford to get it checked up. Okay, take two. I'm reversing it now. It's fine right now. Uh, let's see how it goes. I'm still reversing. Maybe because I am in an incl uh, incline. So we'll see how it goes. You hear that? It's just rubbing now. It was because of an incline. So let's see how it goes. Hold on. Let me just get out of this place. As you've heard on the sound of me trying to reverse there a little bit, uh, yes, it was actually the incline just letting me reverse it. It was basically just letting me go uh, freely. Uh, but once I got into the edge of the incline, um, where it's a little bit of a flat surface, it wouldn't let me push anymore. So it, there is uh, definitely something wrong with the transmission. Uh, I really hope it's not too crazy. Hopefully it's a, an easy fix, but like my buddy said, it could really be the transmission. Like right now I'm driving normally. I can go use drive and just go straight, but I can't go reverse. So it kind of sucks. But yeah, anyways guys, I'm just heading to a Hallmark Ford right now. We'll find out what it could be and probably this weekend after I drop this off.
after a week, guys, we got her back. I'm really happy about it. We actually changed my battery as well, too, so that cost a little bit more money. So after a grand total of <laughs> just about three grand, the truck is running really well right now. Yeah, I'm excited, guys. Moving on with the Project F-150. Speaking of which, I'm actually just heading over to North Shore Off-Road down in uh, Langley and getting a will be on the left. Yeah, so I actually just finished talking to Tyler, one of the workers at uh, North Shore Off-Roading. And uh, yeah, got a good quote. I'm really, really considering going with them. And plus, it's close by my place anyway, so it uh, kind of works out. I'm really excited, guys. We're getting closer. We're to start this uh, build already. So, anyways, guys, I'm gonna end the video now. Uh, basically, took about like a week to just finish this video. So, but yeah, if you like the video, guys, and you're excited to actually uh, see the build for the my F-150 and making it into an off-road beast, Serena looking like a beast, uh, give it a thumbs up if you haven't done so. And of course, you want to keep on watching this series of me building this truck subscribe to my channel also hit that notification bell as well too so you get notified until next time guys stay awesome